Hello and a warm welcome to my presentation on maintaining membrane structures. I'm Katja, Katja Bernert from Mela Technologies. Happy to share at least my screen today with you and sharing our experiences from Ashford. The slogan of this conference is inspiring the next generation and usually inspiration comes from beautiful pictures and who knows me knows that uh, I love to share uh, textile architecture projects for inspiring others to use this beautiful way of architecture. Um, well, and I could carry on showing these beautiful pictures from Ashford, but um, today um, the topic is maintenance and uh, we think that maintenance, and maintenance is a key to durability and that's why I think it's very important to talk about durability and I hope that you might remember this presentation as, as the membrane bucket challenge at the end. So, um, cleanability is a very important issue in maintenance. So, uh, we got to talk about this as well, especially from our side, from the Cotas and Viva side. Um, coming back to Ashford first. Ashford uh, is a stone throw away from Guildford, actually. And uh, this is the original shape, the horseshoe. It was designed by Grimshaw and Partners and Bureau Happel did the engineering, Architect Andrell did um, the manufacturing and the actual installation. Um, well, it's, uh, if we all were in Guildford, we could just um, uh, go to Ashford and have a look ourselves. But unfortunately, we are only here digitally. So, um, well, whenever you come to England, south of England, go and see this beautiful membrane structure in Ashford. Well, obviously, uh, maintenance is everything in architecture or textile architecture, especially, uh, is a group effort of different parties. So um, I talked about the architects and the designers uh, and architect and well as manufacturer. Um, we are the weaver and coater in this group. Um, Mela Technologies is weaving with polyester yarns. We are coating basically with PVC. And um, we are one of the oldest in the business. Uh, Valmex, our brand for textile architecture, was um, established more than 80 years ago. And we've done some of these early Freyot projects uh, of uh, such as Wilkan project and uh, this beautiful versatile roof in Bad Hersfeld. Well, but coming back to the cleaning, because this is the challenge today, uh, always coming back to the cleaning and talking about many other things. This is um, a, a picture from Ashford, not one of these beautiful ones, but actually a, <coughs> sorry, um, a view on people uh, with brooms and water cleaning the roofs. And I could show you many of those. And um, well, this is um, from beneath, you see the, the feet of the people cleaning the roof, the brooms of them. And um, well, here's uh, the view from above. Uh, it's actually a very classical work with a broom and uh, a tube uh, with water supply. So, uh, but uh, as I said before, it's not only a group effort, it's as well um, a symphony of different aspects. Uh, and one of the aspects is definitely cleanability. Um, we, of course, uh, we, for example, have the uh, Nano Lecker, which is providing a very low surface energy, which means that dirt and water and everything doesn't stick too much on the fabric and is washed off easily. So if there is water, a heavy rain, for example, um, that helps a lot in cleaning uh, the fabric as such. Um, we do our homework uh, in terms of looking at this dirt and in terms of looking how best uh, to avoid dirt or how best to avoid the dirt sticking to the fabric. So what this is what we do, providing facts and figures. And uh, this is not only us, it's, it, it's uh, us as coders and weavers, it's us as a textile architecture industry. Um, everybody has to leave um, the comfort zone. And uh, this means that we got to tell our customers that um, self-cleaning, for example, is a legend. Uh, this is an expert of my um, presentation I usually do, um, where I do tell people that even a glass PDFE roof, but as well PVC polyester, all membrane structures, actually all 
building materials have to be cleaned manually. And if there is no heavy rain, uh, it, it, it has to be done regularly by people going up on the roof and cleaning. Well, uh, it is very important to set up rules for maintenance and inspection because inspection as well is a very important issue as well. So it's uh, again a group effort of doing inspection on the one hand, doing the cleaning on the other and, um, and well, basically proving what you saw while maintaining and uh, inspecting so that you got a good record on how the roof is actually uh, doing. So uh, this can actually be quite fun. Uh, here you see uh, my colleague together with the people, people of Architect and Rel doing the inspection. And um, well, uh, there are many things uh, that uh, could be done uh, while inspecting. So you can at once see the roof from above, which is beautiful. Um, but uh, anyway, it is uh, coming back home into the office. It is important that we keep in mind uh, telling uh, our customers and everybody involved in textile architecture about maintenance. And this is a challenge, I mean, um, that we got to talk um, about cleaning, maintaining, even if this is not the most beautiful topic, but it is a topic which is worthwhile mentioning. And I thank you very much for your attention, for maintenance from the market here. And I hope to see you next time in a conference uh, in the real world. Thank you very much and see you next time at the IS.